so I've been dealing with my inner critic and uh, she ain't no joke just like this cold weather in DC ain't no joke her name her real her full name is Bloom Hilda but over the past several years we've developed a kinder gentler and softer relationship her name is Broomy and of late, she's been trying to get me to pay attention to some messages about her fears of us turning 58 in a couple of weeks. And I haven't wanted to hear her. I've been like, bitch, please. <laughs> and we have been at it. And so yesterday, I finally made a decision to befriend her and to ask her, what is it? that you want me to know. What's going on? What are you afraid of? And that's when space opened up for her to say what her fears were about me, us, turning 58. And earlier today, I had some breakthroughs while I was on the rowing machine in the gym. Generally, I get a lot of insights when I'm working out. It's something about the body and just letting go and moving my body at uh, an intense pace. That's what works for me. So while I was rowing, what came to me was, wow, Broomy is afraid of us turning 58 because she doesn't know what's on the other side and she doesn't want us to get hurt she doesn't want us to be angry and frustrated um, she wants us to be safe and secure and I get that and I appreciate that and I told her that in a, in a love letter I wrote to her and I let it all out and I let her know that any time she has these fears and these concerns that I now want to hear them. I now want to know what's going on because I've been treating her in many ways like she's separate from me. And not giving her a seat at the table with all parts of me. And if you listen to me talk about my archetypes, you know that I have eight archetypes, including Broomy. And she's the one that I put at the kitty table. I don't have her at the grown folks table with all the other archetypes. And a lot of that has to do with me not wanting to be bothered with her... Um, her judgments, her criticisms, but now I recognize that it's about the fear. And I need to listen to her, and I need to befriend her, and I need to do that with loving kindness. And so the kind and loving thing that I did today was to slow down and to take time to write her that love letter. And she just wants my attention, and I appreciate it because she helped me see some places that I've been missing and not wanting to see, not wanting to deal with. So I want to encourage you, instead of fighting your inner critic, resisting her, I want you to take a moment, take a breath, and consider what is your inner critic seeking to tell you. Because trust there's a message in that and see if there is a way that you can befriend your inner critic maybe if you're like me and you like to write you can journal you can write a letter you can do something like that for your inner critic or just being still giving your inner critic the space to speak to you because there's some wisdom in whatever it is that they're griping about all right see you later bye